Guys, what are we looking at today? Well, you can see it on the table there in front of you. This is the Jerry Home Spectre Elite Butterfly Knife. This ballast song is beautiful, and you guys knew that eventually, in a bid for views, I was going to do a ballast song. So let's turn it around and take a look at this beautiful, beautiful knife from above. Guys, like I said in the intro, it is a rare occurrence that something like this happens. This is a knife that is typically outside of something that I would even be interested in having on the channel. But I have to say that this Ohm Design Spectre Elite that my buddy Tino bought and let me borrow is possibly the best Balasong butterfly knife I've seen. Now, I have seen this on the channel before. We did a cursory glance, but now I have a way to carry this on a day-to-day -day fashion. So this is basically like first day in pocket. So let's take a quick look at this. I'm not gonna try and do size comparison because this is, as a bally, it is a big knife. It is well over 10 inches-ish on the mat. So what are we looking at? You are looking at what I think is possibly the most attractive Balasong butterfly knife I've ever seen. So this is an L Max blade that has been done in the gold uh, tie nitrate, the titanium nitrate finish. And this is a black titanium nitrate finish. This thing is amazingly well-constructed, well-designed, and just a super high quality knife to begin with. So this is the Jerry Ohm Spectre Elite um, done in L Max. Now, everything on this thing is gold and blue and it is beautiful. Cool thing about this, if you're a Bally guy, I used to be a Bally guy. Um, I used to love ballast songs and I was teaching myself the tricks, but you can flip your latch from side to side. It will work on either side, um, which is not an uncommon thing, but I'm personally, I would have, I, I'm always the guy that I always had my latch on this side so I can swap that. But just in attractiveness, this thing is amazing. The thing that is cool about this, this, this is not like a lot of other, uh, Balasongs, this has got a very functional, very usable blade. It's got a nice recurve. It's ground very well, comes down nice and thin. It does have a thick profile overall because of the blade stock thickness, but they did a really good job grinding this down. Now, I do have permission, even though this is a fairly rare, and it's not rare, but it's a fairly expensive knife, and it has a very distinct look. I've been told I can use this for some day-to-day -day tasks. I won't be doing any big cardboard cut downs or things like that. And I'll show you, this is why I never liked, that's why I always liked having the latch on the other side is because it puts it in my hand. I may actually rotate that. I think that's something we're gonna do before the, uh, the, the, the full video on this because I am gonna carry it. I'm gonna flip that latch. The nice thing about a ballast song is that they are very secure. This is a very secure type of knife. It is a folding knife but it is very close to being a fixed blade once you close that. It is latched down on itself. That blade's going nowhere, absolutely zero play. It is, I think, the strongest folding knife on the market, really, to tell you the truth. It is very hard to get this to fail with the way it's designed. And so as a folding knife, this is as close as you're going to get to a fixed blade other, I mean, it, it, you know, you're just not gonna find anything better. The only thing that comes close would be a triad lock. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. I just wanted to show you, it's a very, very attractive knife. It gives me, it always, since ever since Tino bought this, this reminds me of the knife from Dune, the original Dune, the one with Stang and, and, and those guys. And, and in the... <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to turn my other phone off and I got a call that was absolutely a robot robot call. And it wasn't even in English. I think it was in Vietnamese. What I was saying is this reminds me of the knife, the Emperor's knife from the final fight in the David Lynch 1984 Dune movie. And I think that's why I was like it because I loved that movie. I know it has it's very, very far from the actual books, but it just kind of reminded me of that. And I always found that visually striking. So um Here's the thing though, this, there's a reason we're doing this is 
I'm not just going to do this as a one and done. Just like we did with the Exo Gravity Knife, I'm going to carry this and we're going to do a revisiting on this and see what it's like to EDC a butterfly knife. And we'll see, was I comfortable carrying it in public? Was I comfortable using it in public? How I used it, things like that. Like I said, beautiful, beautiful knife. I'm not going to heavy use this and scratch it up, but I am going to use it for some day-to-day -day tasks. What I have, the advantage I have is I have got this little leather slip so I can put that in there and I can throw it in my pocket. I do have to say when we did the Exo Gravity Knife where I carried that for like a week or two, like as a primary EDC, I did have the advantage, the Exo, the Gra Exo Gravity Knife has got a belt sheath that I could use. I don't have that with this. So we're gonna see what it's like to try and carry this for a little bit. I think it'd be fun. I just, this is a fun video. I do love this knife. I have since the day Tino showed it to me the first when he first got it. Uh, he was like a little kid with a new Christmas present. So we're gonna see. I think this is gonna be fun, but there you go. There is the Jerry, oh, the Jerry Home Spectre Elite Butterfly Knife the Bala song. So let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. So there you go, guys. This thing is beautiful. It's gorgeous. And like I said, this, I know I was joking in intro where I'm just like, oh, I'm just doing this for the views. It's partially true, but this is a gorgeous knife. I do like it a lot. And I am going to carry it as a primary EDC. And we're going to see how that goes. I think I'm going to run into some problems with this that I didn't run into with the Exo Gravity Knife, but we'll see. At any rate, it's going to be fun. So, guys, that's it on this video. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure that you've got notifications set to all and make sure you've got notifications turned on your device. And once again, as I always say, likes are the best thing for a channel. If you are going to watch a video for more than 30 seconds on any channel, you should drop a like or you're doing that channel a disservice or a dislike. If you don't like the content, drop a dislike. At least they can use that as a metric to figure out what videos people do and don't like. But YouTube actually absolutely rewards channels for high like counts. Uh, if you want to support the channel financially, I have got a ton of affiliate links down below. The Amazon ones are basically like a door into my, they're a gateway into my affiliate store. Anything you purchase after you get through that door, like any other store, I get credit for it. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout. And there's a ton of stuff on Amazon you can buy. So if you're doing any shopping, please just use one of my affiliate links to get in there. And then anything you purchase after that doesn't even be, doesn't need to be the item you clicked on. Uh, coffee Break Coffee, the best coffee I've had in a very long time. And it is a very good company that's trying to sustain itself by not getting into the pol political arena. They are offering you 5% off with my coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, Crazy Sharp. Um, or you can just use the affiliate down below. And the other way you can support the channel financially is I have a membership down below. It's tier based, there's three tiers. B everyone has access to the Gilded server, which is just like Discord, Baseline and Premium guys have uh, are automatically entered into giveaways that I do on the Gilded server. And the Premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind that paywall. So guys, there you go. Congratulations to everybody that won on the giveaway last, well, for me, it's last night. For, for you guys, it's definitely a while ago. But congratulations to everybody that won in the 10K giveaway. So guys, that's it on this one. Keep it clean in the comment section. It makes it easier for me to moderate the channel. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.